first of all, thanks for joining us today. How are you both? Yeah, how are you, man? What are you saying? Yeah, mom. We're good. We're good. We're good, man. Thank you. We're good. So, you guys, you got a new single out. Congrats. Nice one, man. Appreciate Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What was the process like, you know, behind making that? Because obviously uh, we have been, we listened to it, we're going to play it in our show. Um, and it's nice to hear, you know, Carlos and I, we were speaking just before you guys came on. It is nice to hear a bit of like a different sound because you guys are known for that kind of Punjabi garage, like typical kind of um, Brit Bangra kind of sound, which we will go more into later on. Um, and it feels a little bit different. Um, what was that, you know, the the journey like from kind of where you started to where you guys are now in making this new song? I mean, it's a really nice question. And I think I'm going to answer it in two parts and I'm going to let Trix answer a little bit of the first part of your question. But in terms of this track that's just come out now, um, Shaddi Kar featuring Fusion. Uh, Fusion is, is a hot artist. He's out of Bradford in Yorkshire. Um, he's dropped a few singles in, in the last year. He's amazing. And this track really came about. Uh, we were working with this producer um, in India. He's called Amit, Amit F. He was like sending us loads of beats. And we came across one song that we really liked, Me, Trix and Fusion. We, uh, we, we, we started vibing. And then Fusion and Trix were like, yeah. And, you know, with this Shadika line, and, and then we just developed it, wrote this amazing track, tweaked it, did it a few times, mixed it. And then when we had it and we were playing it, we knew it was a banger. Mm. Um, but it wasn't finished there. Like the tune still wasn't finished because we had a vision that we need the visuals on point. Uh, and that's what our boy Akash, Akash Music came in um, and just made this really amazing, unique, video story mm. movie whatever you want to call it um and that just made the whole song complete then do you know what i'm saying and it was a vibe making it like you said it was a little bit different but what i do like about this track is it fuses our culture and the rap lyrics and the theme about shadi mm -hmm. god you know what I'm saying? because yeah do you know what i'm saying no matter what culture you're in that's yeah. a hot topic about getting married and come on when you're getting married you know what i mean so we thought we'd do a little twist make it a nice track do our thing um and it's, it's just turned out bang and we're, we're just buzzing supporting it do you know what i mean and in terms of where come from i let tricks take over yeah no 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 appreciate the the love that we've been getting for the new this new track um because um because the thing is what we look tight like this yeah, you know what? We were the ones that created Punjab, a genre. We created a genre of music and everyone known us for that. But we, we also led the way of, you know, trying to have this identity with the Asian sound. Do you know what I'm saying? For the UK. Do you get what I mean? Okay. And so where I felt, where, where I felt this here, is this gels it perfectly, you know, with the, you know, the, the Asian sample, the, you know, and the Mets and Tricks verses and hooks and, do you get what I'm saying? And with the nice Punjabi song. Do you get what I'm saying? It's yeah. like more 2021. Do you get what I mean? It kind of fitted well with, you know, what was going on around us as well at the time. You get what I'm saying? Because obviously sounds change, don't they? You get what I mean? And, um, you know, it's, it, was, it was fun making this record. You guys would say it's still very characteristic, like Mets and Trick kind of sound, but just an evolution of that sound then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And that, I think that's only natural, Halima, you get what I mean? Because we're getting older, we're mature as artists, you get what I mean? So, like, it's it's nice for us to, it's nice for us to see the development as well, do you get what I mean? And, uh, you know, which is, you know, really, cool. it's been really fun, do you get what I'm saying? Because obviously now, it, you know, when we're in the studio, we're veterans in the studio, you know what I mean? We know what, well, we know what we want to make when we're writing the track, you get what I mean? So it's, you know what I mean? It's been good, it's been good, and it's been good to get back in the studio and, put out some tracks that people like, you know what I mean? Obviously we put out Jasha like a year ago, that was with Fusion as well. And you know what I mean? So this is like the follow-up now. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad people are kind of getting, you know, we're getting a good response for it, man. So appreciate that, I appreciate the love. Interesting, okay. So going off of that then, um, how much would you guys say, when you are making like new music, um, how much would you say the music that you create is a mix of what is kind of intuitive? So what is kind of like, 
um, you're, you're just kind of following your gut and, and the sound that you like to hear and how and how much of it is you're conscious of what the industry is right now and what sound is popular right now? That's another good question, that. I really like that question. We've never really followed the industry. Do you understand? We've never really been a part of mainstream industry. We've always had this niche yeah. and this, you know, underground element being an Asian artist. And yeah. you go back to our roots, you probably don't know where we come from, but we came from the garage industry. So we were known oh, in we were about that. Yeah. So we 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 were known in Manchester to do weekly garage nights. Do you know what I'm saying? So we've all we've always had a, yeah, a yeah. an attachment with urban music. So you know we've always been strong supporters mm -hmm. of hip hop, rap, R and B, garage. Do you know what I mean? Because we've always had a mixed, diverse range of friends from black communities, white communities, Chinese communities. So we've always been very diverse, but us being Asian and being a part of the Asian music industry, that's like a bonus for us. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like our bread and butter. Um, and we don't, I don't really take like, inf I don't like follow, follow any like rules or follow like, oh, I've, I've got to make this trap track because trap's in right now. Or I've got to make a drill track because drills, we're not, we're, we're, we've never really been like that. We know about party music about bangers and how to we when we make a track we want the track to last 100 years do you know what i'm saying we want a track to 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 go on to the generation and the next generation do you know what i'm saying in it in it tricks 100 percent, man you know and, 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 and what i like about it is i think that you know we kind of captured that element and that essence again with this shadika track you get what i mean like the vibe of it all you know it's fresh, it sounds fresh, it's from the UK, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's you know, it's it's popping off right now, you get what I mean? So it's um it's a good look, it's a good look all around, you know what I mean? But like on the back of my says, we've always been trailblazers, you get what I'm saying? We've always been more of them trailblazers setting the way, setting the trend. We won't really we don't really follow the fashion. We might watch here what's going on and see where what's popping, what's not popping. You get what I mean? That's you know, that's normal. You guess that's what you gotta do. You gotta stay in tune. You gotta keep your ear to the ground, ear to the streets, because we know what's popping. You get what I mean? But that's what we gotta do. And when we when we come, we bring our our brand, our identity onto it, innit? And that's what I'm saying. Everyone knows us for that over the last 20 years, which we're blessed to be here. You get what I mean? You know, over the last 20 years, you know, like uh, yeah. with bang no. with bangers. You get what I mean? It's not a disrespect to any artist that might be doing trap, that might be doing drill, because we enjoy listening to them. We enjoy the young artists that are coming up and that are being successful. We're really proud of that, do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not, we're not disrespecting anybody, you know, when we say that I don't do this or I don't do that. I love it, because I, I love seeing the whole scene evolving with, with the young artists coming through, making moves, getting crazy streams, celebrating success, like, we're, we're, we're proud of that, do you know what I'm saying? Um, and don't get me wrong, in 2022, we'll definitely have some of those genres uh, and we'll have some of those tunes, no doubt, do you know what I mean? But like Trick says, we're trailblazers. We like to, you know what I mean, set the trend. We like to be a little bit different. I don't want, pe you know, I don't want people to say, oh, I predicted they were going to make that song. That's that's what we, we, we don't want. We like to surprise you with, with the flavours that we've got. Okay, cool. No, that's interesting because I was, I was, you know, the, the word trailblazer, I think you both have used that. And I think the awareness is a really important word to use if we're going to talk about your guys' it's like brand and the music that you make and the journey that you've been on. Um, so it's interesting to hear you guys say that actually that's kind of like the number one consideration when you're making music is to be a trailblazer. Because that's been the mindset, you know what I mean? The mindset for us, Alima, have always been, you know, originality is the key, you get what I mean? And you know, and, that, and that's the advice that we've always given to every young artist or any artist going through. Listen, if you be original, that's how people will notice you. You get what I'm saying? You've got to have originality, you know what I mean, in whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's always been important for us, you get what I mean, as a mindset. So we've always had that, mm. you know, it's a mindset growing up. Now, so speaking about the trailblazing and, and kind of uh, the Punjabi garage scene that you guys have come from. Um, obviously recently, Ministry of Sound, um, you guys featured in the Ministry of Sound documentary. So again, congratulations for that. Nice one. 
it was it was really it was interesting because I didn't even know that this documentary had come on to like featured it on our show and um we, we featured it on our on our channel um but I so I'm not I'm not Punjabi but I'm obviously South Asian I'm British Asian and, and like Brit, Brit, Brit Bangra is a lot of what I grew up listening to and I always about how much that was so formative in my identity as a British Asian you know that kind of understanding that like okay we don't fit in quite we don't quite fit in completely over over here we don't fit in completely over there we are our own unique kind of sphere of belonging and one part of performing your British Asian identity was music and then specifically was British music and then specifically within that with your guys's music um so I just want to ask a little bit about how what was that experience like of finally having I mean Ministry of Sound massive huge um having that documentary made having you guys featured having that recognition as well because a lot of people they'll know your guys's song they'll know the music they'll know the type the, the the other songs in that genre but they won't actually know it's Punjabi garage they won't know the relationship between those two genres and how it is its own thing and you know what it's funny it's so funny Alima because when that that email came through about almost a year ago maybe less than a year ago I thought it was a wind up oh really like I was looking at the inbox and I was like tricks Ministry of Sound have just emailed us yeah 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 an email and we like I was reading it and I thought this is a this is a prank this this is someone having a joke then I looked at it again and then I thought oh no it's not a prank it's actually it's actually Ministry of Sound because when I looked at the email and it had Ministry of Sound and then Sony Music mm. I was, hey this is real now they want to do documentary so I thought right let me phone them let me find out about what's what's going on because it didn't make sense really in mm. the email like I thought, mm, I, I, I know what's going on, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So then when I phoned him and, and we spoke with uh, Big Up Cameron from uh, Ministry of Sound and Sony Music, all the guys over there in London. Um, he was like, yo, you guys, you guys keep propping up. You, keep, you know, everything we're researching, it's, it's you guys are coming up. And he told me a story about Young Sing and how he did a mix uh, during lockdown and just for, for fun almost put it up on 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 SoundCloud and he didn't it he didn't realize it blew up like he yeah. was shocked in shock that everybody was listening not only like his listeners and the people mm. that him as a DJ but people in the industry mm. and artists were following him and bigging him up and then they said look we're exploring about doing this documentary and we can't do this documentary without mm. you. But we have to have you involved. Will, will you be involved? Blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yeah. Then I phoned Trix. I said, Trix. And then Trix chatted to him. And then he was like, okay, cool. We'll come to you. Yeah. yeah you know what? It's, you know what? It's, a, it's been, it's a, it's amazing recognition. And uh, you know what? It's you know it's credit to the music that's been what that we made twenty years ago. Because like like that's saying you know big up young sing and all these guys. Because what's happened is this your generation is like a DJ a DJ culture coming through. And if you're a young DJ and you want to play music in a nightclub, right? That Punjabi carriage sound is one of the best. Sa- it's designed it's designed to make you party. Do you know what I mean? So that's why that that kids. DJ mix went off. Do you get what I mean? Because if you listen to that them them records, it was like I'll say it's Mets, it's funny, it's a Mets. It just sounds it sounds like a Mets and trick set from 20 years ago. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like when we would go in the nightclub, that's how we'd rock that club. Do you get what I'm saying? Like with them tunes, Dubbe, Putsa Darande, Switching, Gangana, PMC, Dr. Zoo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Sandy Gully, Mets and Tricks. You know, we switch it up. You know what I mean? Differently. You know what I mean? And and what what it what and what that did was this, because whenever we did them, raids and parties, they went off. But like we said in it, it's, it's took them 20 years to recognise. Otherwise, before that, it was like an underground cult movement. You get what I'm saying? In the UK, you get what I'm saying? Which, yo, if you knew, you knew. If you didn't, you didn't. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what the vibe was. And like you said, you knew about it. You get what I'm saying? If you was South Asian in the UK during that time and you didn't know about it, it was like, yo, where have you been? Yeah, no, I think I think like you can say underground, but honestly, I would say like 
most out no most British Asian people like that sound would have really characterized their upbringing I mean it certainly did for me do you know what I mean um and it's interesting because we're talking about kind of you you know Metz you said about how the documentary coming out now in 2021 is testament to the music that you guys were putting out 20 15 10 years ago yes. um and you also spoke about Young Sing set sound like a medicine trick set from back in the day how the, the kind of genre that you guys established and the way that 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 sound and that genre and I would say the culture as well that's kind of within that sound the way that that has persisted over these decades where do you see that now going in the future with kind of younger artists because in the documentary obviously one of the things that they had towards the end was this new kind of generation of up and coming like British Asians and how they're taking inspiration from what you guys did so where do you see that well, well I think if you're a young artist or you're a writer or a musician or a DJ, it's going to give you confidence to know that you've got a you've got a genre of music now. You've got a generation of artists that have smashed it and paved the way for you, for you to write the next banger. Do you know what I mean? We don't know how many amazing artists are sat there now ready to make that kind of sound. And you know what? We might have to jump on one of them tracks because it might be that much, it might be that much if, where that young kid would be like, you know what, it would be a dream if I could get Mets and Tricks on this track, or if I could get so-and-so on a track, or if I could get Young Sing to mix it, do you know what I mean? So for me, it's opened the doors wide open and it's telling people that, yo, do you know what? We make a, we make a genre of sound, respect what we're doing and we can make, just as good music as what's out in the mainstream because it is mainstream music. You know, uh, on the back of that, it's like this, Alima, that what's amazing about that is this now, the opportunities there, that's a genre of music. That's what I keep on saying to people, you know, Mets and Tricks, we're not just a song in it. We're like, we're, we're a genre of music. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's been created. Now, anybody now, any young kid can get on the technology that's available now, make a two-step beat, get a Punjabi vocal on it, yeah, and mm -hmm. rap on it, and they've got themselves a track, and it could be next level. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and that's what's, that's what's happened. So now, you know, the way, the way that, you know, the kids are now, the way that it's available for this younger lot, the, all the information and the data, how to make music and get music is easy to do. You know what I mean? You don't have to go to these big studios anymore. You know what I mean? It's amazing because they're making amazing music. Do you get what I mean? And that's what's amazing about it because like we're saying, and obviously ministry has recognized that, that that genre of sound, if you get it right, it's one of the best sounds you can have, you get what I'm saying? Like it'll always bang, you get what I mean? It will always be there. And that's, what the, that's what's amazing about it. Do you know what I mean? But what it is, no one would have thought that 20 years ago. That's why, that's why it's, really, it's really hard to fathom right now. It's massive. You know, we've been doing interviews with people, you know, and everyone's like, yo, you know, can you believe oh, sorry you know what I mean can you believe you know my my language but I'm passionate about this but like can you believe it how did you think that this was going to be like this do you get that you know what Halima when I watched it mm. it, it goosebumps yeah it, yeah because some of those pictures uh you know some of them were stills they were photographs mm. and I saw a couple of myself and I was like oh yeah I remember that gig or oh, I remember that in in Leeds in Evolution um, and also it's a part of our history now and God rest his soul rest in peace to Cully you know yeah all right yeah, yeah yeah you know some people have lost their lost their lives and they're no longer with us but they were part of that history uh, for us it's very very emotional but I'm very very proud and I'm very honoured that Young Singh you know did this saw it through executed it DJ'd and pushed it and connected with all those lot because let's be honest you know you can get selfish characters in the music industry you can get selfish people that might have their own money. but this guy didn't he involved everybody and he painted a picture and he told a story and he presented it to the world's biggest dancer in one of the world's biggest record labels do you know what i'm saying so for us for us it was very very special and you know i'm not i'm not gonna i'm never gonna forget this but it's there now it's in the archives it's there forever 
Yeah, man, and it's something to celebrate to celebrate as South Asians. Do you get what I mean? Because you know what I mean. Like Metz was saying, you know, the other day, you know, like we did it. Do you get me? Because as South Asians, we all stuck together, didn't we? And we all went and rocked up together and enjoyed it. You get what I mean? And went to the mellas and went to the parties. You get what I'm saying? Otherwise, it wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have happened. Do you get what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. Keep on saying like that's why we love to make that type of music. You know, that's why we're really happy to be back making music. You know, for you know, for the people again, you get me. Yeah, I think for me, like as a fan of the music, it was on. It was it was sick. Like it was sick to see the fact that the kind of because obviously a part of being a minority, like your your culture and your people and and your music and all of that, it's not recognised as the mainstream. Do you know what I mean? So you kind of grow up, kind of having this kind of uh, little pocket of of culture, this little movement within your own communities. So to see it celebrated on such a wide platform, because Ministry of Sound is not a exclusively South Asian platform. You know, like it's it's it is global recognition. It's one of the world's biggest dance labels. Yeah, 100, 100. Even for me as a fan to see that it was it was sick. And it is because I think the moment and the genre and the and the and the kind of history that you guys created was historic. We've spoken obviously about legacy a lot. So about what 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 came before and and we spoke a, a bit about kind of lineage as well, about so what's to come um in terms of the genre. I just want to ask very quickly, what have you guys got in store? What is your aspiration for yourselves, for the culture, for the genre? I'm not sure if you, you you've cut, caught our social media, but we we've launched a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The state of flow, the state of flow, Halima. You know, yeah. if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's about everything. It's about what's going on. It's about music. It's about life. It's about entertainment. It's about you know social issues that are going on in in everyday life, uh, and and that's something we're passionate about, and and. We're hoping that in 2022 we can start getting guests involved and grow this. And we, we know we're starting literally from right from the bottom in terms of uh, growing our audience in the podcast. But we're really, really happy about that. And we're proud of it. And we're we're up for the graft. We're up for the the challenge. And we're really enjoying doing that. And other than that, continue to to drop more music. I've got some amazing uh, Punjabi garage tracks come in i've got some hip-hop track i've got some trap um you know I've, and i i am we're, we're we're currently writing something on, on a drill beat as well because I, I do feel that you know may, maybe one one drill track would be uh, um, uh amazing but i want to do it slightly differently not what you th- you know what i'm saying yeah mom yeah man that sounds pretty much that pretty much wrapped that up nicely mess you know what I mean? He did the nearly man. Covered it nicely there. Basically, keep a lot, keep it locked for the podcast and keep it locked for some new music. You know what I mean? And that's what it's, you know, that's that's what it's about because that's what we love doing and that's what we're known for. Well, thank you so much, guys, for your time today. Um, honestly, it was really, really nice connecting with you both. Um, it was really good to speak about kind of where you've been, where you're going. Um, nice to touch base. And honestly, I'm I am excited to see kind of what 2020 is gonna bring 2022. I just say- You've got to probably be one of the most interesting and best interviews I've had in a long time, isn't it? Oh, That's really thanks. nice of you to say, Miss. No, you really you had some really good questions there. Uh, really enjoyed it. That's nice. It's nice to, um, but like I said, you know, you know, on a final word, you know, what I mean, you know, Shadi got the new single is out now. Um, go download it, stream it it's on Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify Music. You know, um, let's download that, let's stream it, watch the videos on YouTube. Uh, you know, that's doing something, you know what I mean? That's that's doing really well. We're getting a great response for the video. So big up a gosh music uh, we for just, that one. 250,000 views uh, and that's just just under a week. So we're absolutely buzzing about that. Yeah, mom. Congrats, guys. And um, yeah, thanks for your time. Before we wrap up, John, just quickly plug your socials. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. It's M-E-T-Z, N for November, T-R-I-X. That's Mets and Tricks. Follow us on t- TikTok at Metsantrix, on Twitter and on Facebook. See you later. Love.